What's for dinner? I don't know. I have no idea. Why are you asking me? We got some paper towels back there. Uh, that's pretty much it. Good morning, Sophia. Hey, what's going on? So we're home today. We're all, I'm off today, so uh, we're gonna go to Target and she's smiling. Get more formula for this little girl again. And we're staying with the soy, but we're gonna try the liquid this time because we've been using the powder. So maybe that'll help with the gas also. Tonight I have my first lab class tonight for my anatomy and physiology. So Monday nights I have lecture and Wednesday nights I have lab. So. We'll see. Monday nights are 2 hours and 45 minutes, and Wednesday nights are 1 hour and 45 minutes, so it's not as bad. And if lecture is like last time, it's really not bad. It usually doesn't last as long as the class. I know last semester, 45 minutes, we were done, and we left. So hopefully it's something like that this semester as well. Probably. Same kind of, same exact class, pretty much. So I'm going to feed Dolf, and uh, then we should probably go to Target. All right, so we're going to change Sophia for the day, and I'm pick this out. Let's try it on. And there she is. I like this outfit on her. She likes it too, because she likes monkeys. I don't know why you like monkeys. Do you like monkeys? You like monkeys. Monkey, 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 monkey. Monkey. I'm sitting in the car waiting for Liz. She's at Sam's Club getting a few things that we need, like diapers and stuff like that. A bunch of stuff. Um, I really don't want to go to class tonight. I'm mean, going to have to. I'm not looking forward to it. It'll be quick and easy. Just had a drive there. It's a day off of work, so it sucks that I have to still go to school. But whatever. Anyway, tomorrow Liz gets her gallbladder out, so I'm going to be at the hospital with her all day waiting for her and whatever and her mom's actually gonna come over to the house to watch Sophia so Sophia will be at the house with her grandma and I will be at the hospital with Liz I wonder if I should bring something like my iPad or something I wonder how it's gonna be it's gonna be like an all-day thing I guess we'll see so it seems to be a not too bad of a procedure it's uh, it's a one day thing, it's not staying overnight or anything, and uh, doesn't seem to be horrible. Just a little bit of recovery, I'm gonna make sure I, you know, try to take care of Sophia as much as I can, because I don't want her to be doing a lot of work, I want her to recover quickly. So, you know, try to help out as much as I can. And I'm working, I think, like a half a day on Friday, so her mom is actually gonna come back Friday to help her while I'm at work. And then it's the weekend, so I'll be home while she heals. So, uh, yeah. What's for dinner? I don't know. I have no idea. Why are you asking me? We got some paper towels back there. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm just watching some YouTube on my phone in the car. We just finished up Target. We got some formula for Sophia. We're trying the liquid. I told you guys already. And I put my blinker on with my knee. I sure did. Alright guys, so I'm on my way to lab. Lab, lab, lab. So, when I took this class last semester for the first time, lab, I always hated lab because you gotta partner up with somebody. And I hate partnering up with people. I'm not saying I don't work well with others, but I don't know. For class, I'd rather... I learn better by myself when I'm by myself. So I hated lab, but this lab is different, anatomy and physiology. Basically we sit down just like a regular classroom and they give you a list of all the terms that we have to know. So you're right, I think we're starting with the heart, so all the terms of the heart is like, I don't know, maybe 50 per class that we have to memorize. Maybe every three or four classes is a lab practical. But um, basically she just goes through the list and she's at the front of the class, she's showing you where each term is. And then we have all these pictures in our lab manual that we mark up. 
So you locate on the heart what she's talking about, what the name is, and then on there, write the name of it. So that, that's how I study. I just look at the pictures, read the names, I cover the names, and test myself. And uh, basically that's all lab is. Basically you sit there, she's throwing out terms and pointing at a fake body, and that's it, you go. Now last semester, um, well this class is an hour and 45 minutes to lab, and last semester, we, we it would only take anywhere from like a half an hour to an hour 15 minutes at the most, so we always left early. So hopefully this teacher is like that. I can't imagine why it would take any longer. Um, hopefully it's not a teacher that's like, oh, let me teach them a little bit more, just so they know. Not that it's important for the lab practical. Hopefully not. Just give me the bare minimum. Because I want to go home and see my daughter and my wife. And, uh, so that's basically it. I'm going to class. Yesterday's teacher, uh, not very excited about him. Can't wait to see what's going to happen with that. And uh, tonight's class on Rate My Professor, this teacher uh, actually looks really good. She knows what she's talking about, and she's nice, she's easy, blah, blah, blah. So, that's cool. At least I don't have two annoying teachers. But, we will see. Maybe she will be annoying, who knows. So I'm on my way to class now, and uh, tonight... I'm going to actually go to Dunkin' Donuts on the way home. I need a coffee after class and uh, edit the vlog and go to bed because Liz has to be in the hospital tomorrow at 6 a.m. The hospital is only like 10 minutes away, but uh, we have to be there at 6 and her surgery is at 8.30. So they were just saying on the phone that once she recovers from anesthesia, she can go. So we're thinking she's, we're going to be home before noon, which is awesome. So that's cool. So, which me also means her mom's got to get here at like 6.30, and they live an hour away. So they, she's got to leave her house at 5.30, wake up at what, 4.45, 5? Oof. But anyway, I'll let you guys know through Twitter, if you follow me on Twitter tomorrow, how everything is going. Which, uh, yeah, so if you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I now have Facebook. Links are in the description. And uh, go do that right now before you forget. Pause the video, click the links, subscribe, then go to the Facebook one, click that link, add as friend, go back, hit the pause button, and here we are. We're back here. All right, I'll see you guys after class. I wanted to talk about this. You know, doing ever since I did this daily vlog thing, it's also really cool because I feel like I'm becoming like a better person. Sounds really stupid and corny, but one tiny example, there are like a lot of examples, a lot of them I can't even put into words, but one small example is being a talker, being a speaker. When I spoke about something, tell a story, a lot of times I'm stumbling over my words and I don't know, I think shyness had a lot to do with it as a kid and I brought that, the way I talk into adult life and I just, I don't know, I stumble over words and I just, I don't know what it is, but speaking was not my strong point, wasn't a strong quality of mine, and it still isn't. I'm not saying I'm a good public speaker right now, because I'm not, or just a speaker in general, but I feel like ever since I've done this, I've done these vlogs for four months now, it's going to be, and that's a third of a year, and that's every day, and you can tell the difference from my some of my beginning vlogs, vlogs to the vlogs now that I just, I don't know, I, I go through a story without much, like, tripping on words. I don't know if you guys be able to really tell, but I can tell. I know the way I talked, and I didn't like to tell people stories because of that. You know, nothing elaborate. Because I was self-conscious of how I spoke. Not that I sounded like an idiot, but, you know, I felt like I did. But now, I, I, I don't know, I have this new confidence in me that I can speak better. And I, and I do. On a day-to-day -day basis, I can hear myself talking, and I'm like, wow. I'm impressed, Rob. I'm impressed. So that's just like one kind of small example of how this vlog has changed me. There are a lot of stupid things. For instance, like, there's like a stupid smirk face that I make when I'm like looking at Liz if she's talking to me. And not really a smirk, but whatever it is, it's really ugly. And I do it. And uh, I haven't really done it lately. 
or just anybody, or I don't know, I don't know. That's why I said it's really hard to put in words. You didn't understand what I just said? That's why. <laughs> the only one I could really put into words is the whole speaking thing. And uh, I think that's great. That is awesome. That Doing something like this, which is a huge passion of mine now, recording video, and especially the editing, like, you know, I put $300 towards an app, an application, Final Cut Pro, to edit. When I have iMovie already, which edits movies, but I just want to learn more of it. I've never had s such a passion for something. I feel like my entire life, I was going through life without a hobby, a real hobby. There were things I were interested in here and there, and then I would pick up drawing and be like, oh, I'm really into this. A month later, you won't see anything drawing-wise, writing, you know, poetry, to stories, to so many different freaking things, video games, I mean, I'll still play video games once in a while, but there's so many things that I was trying to get into, it didn't last, I feel like now I found this niche, I found this YouTube community, videos, editing movies, I found this whole thing, and I absolutely love it, really, really cool, so if you if there's anything out there that you guys need to explore, just do it. Because you know what? I, I always thought about movie editing, and I was too scared. I was like, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I didn't know how to do it the first day I edited my vlog, my first vlog. But I learned little by little, and I got better and better. And uh, I got this huge passion now. It's, I love it. It's an amazing, amazing feeling. And like I said, from this passion, there are things I'm learning about myself and fixing myself with. It's just all in all really cool and I just want to express that to you, to you guys that, ooh, look at the water. I'm over a bridge right now. That's a disgusting sun glare right there, huh? Hold on, there's going to be a curve coming up. Anyway, that's, that's all I really wanted to say. I just wanted to say I appreciate all you guys also who watch these videos and comment and hit the like button. I appreciate every single like, every single comment. I as you know, I try to respond to every single comment. So uh, if you want to ask me a question, it will be answered. So, all right, I'm at the school now. See you guys later. All right, good news. The lab teacher is good. She's really good. But the, the, the class, really hard. I mean, it's the same exact kind of class I took the first part of the class. This is part two. Uh, we're starting with the heart and the veins and the arteries and all that stuff. There's a lot of terms. So I think this is going to be the hardest part of the class, the first practical. So basically the first month. So, uh, so yeah, I'm happy. I got a good teacher. But not so happy because I got to learn this stuff. Ugh. So on the way home now, I'm going to get some coffee now. All right. I'm going to end the vlog here tonight. I'm on my way home. Got to go to bed pretty early. Got to edit the vlog real quick and go to the hospital tomorrow morning at 6. So, uh, see you tomorrow. Thanks for- Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold it right there. Let me give you a proper goodbye. I stopped driving. Thanks for watching today's vlog and I will see you tomorrow.